Hey IndyCar fans, thanks for joining us, our weekly look at the tough guys. Well, today's tough guy might need an introduction to some of the younger generation because probably unless you're over 50, you might not know who Ralph Liguri is. Ralphie the Racer, Lagooch. Um, his claim to fame, probably a couple of them. He tried to make the Indy 500 for 11 straight years, didn't make the show. Uh, had some spectacular crashes, a couple on national television, survived them. But what people don't understand about Ralph Liguri is the guy was a hell of a race driver. For example, 1957, he won a USAC Sprint Car race at Langhorne and he averaged 104 miles an hour. Now think about that. 104 miles an hour in 1957 at Langhorne, the most treacherous racetrack of all. And that kind of catapulted his career a little bit because in 1959, he gets a chance to run the Indy 500. It's for the Maserati team. Well, if you were in Formula One, that would have been a hell of a ride. Unfortunately, the Maserati Indy car didn't look like a real fast race car, and it wasn't a real fast race car. Ralphie qualified, but it wasn't fast enough. He didn't make the show. But in 1960, he's got a ride in the Federal Engineering Special, one of the better roadsters. Unfortunately, two weeks before the track opens for the month of May, he breaks his arm in an Indy car race at Trenton, misses the month of May. 1961, Andy Granatelli puts him in his Novi. Ralph's going down a backstretch, the thing blows up, hits the wall. Ralph gets some burns on his face. Heals from that, comes back, finds out he's been fired. But in 1963, it was the one opportunity he had. It was a really good car. He qualifies at 147.6. It took 147.8 to make the show. He gets bumped. He's the second alternate. It's the closest he ever came to making the Indy 500. He crashed a couple other cars. Comes back for the last time in 1968. He's trying to pass his refresher test, I think. The engine blows. He spins down the straightaway. And everybody goes, ah, poor old Ralph. Ralph's most exciting moments were on the dirt. And that means, uh, I can't remember what year it was, late 60s, the wide world of sports is at Eldora. Ralph starts last and gets all the way to first, and then he flips all the way through turns one and two. And that's what a lot of people remember him for. Oh my God, Ralph, he picked his opportunities. When he crashed, it was usually spectacular, and lots of times it was on television. So he crashes at Eldora. But in 1970, he's 44 years old. His Indy 500 days are over, all that heartache's over. But he's still running dirt cars, and dirt cars are still champ cars because it's part of the championship trail. We go to the Hoosier 100 right out here at the fairgrounds in September of 1970, and Ralph Liguri passes A.J. Foyt with three laps to go to finish second. Yeah, yeah, I also won the race. He was half a lap ahead of everybody. But the noise from the crowd when Ralph Liguri passed A.J. Foyt for second rivals anything I ever heard. Jim Herdeby's coming down the pits after qualifying in 65. A.J. putting a dirt car on the pole at Milwaukee in 1965. Nothing made people happier than Ralphie the Racer getting second place at the Hoosier 100. He got a much bigger ovation than Al Unser did for winning the race. And earlier that year, he won a sprint car race at Williams Grove and beat some guys like Gary Bettenhausen and Raleigh Beal. So, he was 44 years old when he had his best season ever in racing in 1970. And he raced all the way till like 2000. I think he won a midget race in the speed room when he was 70 years old. Well, Ralph's 90 years old today, still kicking. He used to come to Charlie Brown's and have team lunches. We haven't seen him lately. But I can tell you this. He never made the Indy 500. That's right. He never won an Indy car race. But anybody that watched this guy run knows he was a hell of a race driver. And he was definitely one of the tough guys. So here's a salute to Lagooch, Ralphie the Racer, 90 years young and still kicking. Robin Miller, Racer.com. Thanks for watching.